Hello friends, welcome to Head or Tell Education. Today our topic is What is Recursion? So what is recursion? So according to recursion definition, so recursion in general if split, if split word recursion like re plus occur equal to repeat. Okay. So if any function is called by self is called recursion. It is same like looping but in recursion we need to write one terminate condition for stopping recursion process. So before we understand what is the loop. Okay. So I know and you also know very well what is the loop in C, C++ or Java, Python. Every programming you know what is the loop. Okay. But I explain for fresher or newer or learner the loop. Okay. So in this we have one example related to maths factorial okay so what is the factorial 5 in maths okay so how to calculate factorial any number so if we have like number 5 so factorial value is 5 is multiplied by 4 4 is multiplied by 3 3 is multiplied by 2 2 is multiplied by 1 so this result is equivalent to 120 this is the factorial value of factorial 5 okay so any number is multiplied by decreasing 1 by 1 okay like 5 4 3 2 1 maybe you your factorial number 7 10 so like 10 9 8 7 okay all number multiply by okay so how to calculate this 120 by using C program okay you can write program in any language what you like okay so first we include the header file stttio.h and stdlib.h okay so here I have creating variables type of integer name is r okay next n number assigns 5 or fv means factor value equals to 1 assign okay next cls screen clear background screen and i check here one condition for if maybe the user is pass the less than one number means like n equal to minus 5 minus 3 means below the 1 that time I write the condition n equals to n is multiplied by minus 1 means if you pass minus 5 so n is override by 5 so our factorial value calculate ok so for loop so for loop is very simple here I am initialize r equals to n means n have 5 then r is started from 5 ok initial value 5 now r is greater than equal to 1 means 5 is greater than equal to 1 ok then r minus minus means r minus minus means 5 minus 1 4 4 minus 1 3 3 minus 1 2 2 minus 1 1 ok and 1 minus 1 0 so if r 0 the loop is terminate ok if not 0 then we calculate the factorial value f v equal to f v into r ok so finally this loop is run how many times it's depend on the factorial n so here i have the value n equal to 5 so loop is run 5 time ok so check v how this is process so this is the code variable ok and I am going to here debugging or tracing this manually ok not in computer so created variable r now created 
variable n default value is 5 now next in process we ha I have f b is multiplied by r so here I am writing f b is multiplied by r and what is the result of f b in multiply by r here this assign okay showing here so now start the loop so initially r have no value okay now we start the loop so loop start so r assigns 5 okay 5 and this f b is multiplied by r okay so 1 into 5 and result equal to 5 is here so f b value is 5 okay now next r minus minus so r is equals to 4 next n is constant because so no changes in this variable now f e into r 5 into multiply by 4 so result is 20 okay second time we got 20 now r minus minus so 3 now default value n equal to 5 so now what is the f e value so f e is 20 so 20 is multiplied by 3 so which is equal to 60 okay now again r minus minus so this time 2 constant n 5 now f e value 60 so 60 is multiplied by 2 120 okay now how many times loop run 1 2 3 4 now one time is due okay so this time r minus minus so this is 1 constant 5 120 is multiplied by 1 so this is factorial value 120 okay now this time condition true so now r again minus minus okay so 1 minus minus equals to 0 okay so loop is loop is not run loop is terminate here so this time r0 n have no effect so this old variable value is 120 is 1 equal to 120 okay because loop is not running so this is the calculation process of factorial by using the loop okay now this is the demo for this here I am creating the function first time I am using the loop to calculate the factorial value 5 okay so this is the important inside this so if run here so project compile and run okay so this is the loop to calculate the factorial 5 value okay now next this is the process of recursion using the so how we create the loop in recursion okay so this is very simple I am creating here function calculate underscore factorial int okay now this function I have passed the integer variable and our condition is here if n equals equals to 1 then return 1 okay otherwise n is multiplied by calculate factorial n minus 1 okay so this is the recursion so you have seen here the function name is calculate factorial okay calculate underscore factorial so this function is calling inside again calculate underscore factorial n minus 1 so this is the main important part of recursion okay so function is called by self okay so here in inside the main checking again same condition if we have the negative number so is multiplied by minus 1 so is convert into positive because otherwise the loop is run in infinite time for this okay and call pass inside the calculate underscore factorial so this is not using loop inside this here I am writing only si simple function name okay so if we debug this like this so how is it so if we have the 5 the so function passing the 5 value okay 5 so we reach here so we have the 5 okay so now we check the condition n equals to 1 means 5 equals equals to 1 no so we have the again step 5 is multiplied by 5 minus 1 means 4 so this step is second step for this so again here I am calling the function so go again inside so this function this time 
n equals to 4 okay so n is not equals to 1 correct true okay so not equals to 1 so here n is multiplied by calculate underscore factorial n minus 1 so again jump here so 4 into factorial 3 okay same again repeat for call again factorial function and repeat 3 is multiplied by factorial 2 function call okay again repeat 2 is multiplied by factorial 1 so this time passing 1 okay so if here this is 1 so n equal equals to 1 so we return 1 okay function not calling again this is the terminate so return 1 so factorial 1 value is equals to 1 okay now what is the factorial 2 so factorial 2 is 2 into multiply 1 okay so this is replace here again what is the factorial 3 so factorial 3 is 3 into multiply by 2 okay so replace here 6 okay now next what is factorial 4 so factorial 4 is 4 into multiply by 6 which is equal to factorial 3 so this is 5 into 24 okay now finally what is the factorial 5 so 5 into 24 120 so this is the recursion function steps calling and returning the value okay so each step upside first we enter 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 in recursion function and next in return time according to our condition again up steps v from the top okay so i think you understand the recursion in programming okay now we check the demo for this now next uh, commenting the loop okay and use the recursion function to calculate the factorial value so here you have already seen i have comment this looping process this is the factorial okay calculate factorial by recursion method so this is the function calculate okay factorial by recursion recursion Factorial by recursion. Then I compiled, save and compiled, and run. Okay, so this is calling by recursion. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so five time is calling and values output. Is. Tell summary we learned what is recursion if any function is called by self is called recursion it is same like looping but in recursion we need to write one terminate condition for stopping recursion process so, tutorial will help to understand recursion in c language thanks to watch head or tell education